everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, back, doing another Rivals of Ixalan Intermediate Swiss Draft League. I believe the pick here is probably just Forerunner of the Empire. I really like this card a lot. I think it's very strong. Uh, the Forerunner cycle in general is good, but this might be one of my favorite ones. Um, Siren Reaver is also good. I love the Zealot. I love Pioneer. And other than that, nothing too exciting in this pack. I don't think Slot of the Strong is all that good, unfortunately. But let's take this Forerunner and be happy. Alright, follow up pick. Well, green, white, and red would be the three that go, the three total colors to make sense with Forerunner, but in this pack I'm probably just going to take the Sky Marcher, which is the best card here by quite a bit. I like the Forerunner too, but Sky Marcher better. And I mean, I could take the Mutiny. I've been pretty underwhelmed though. It's early enough where we're just going to take the strongest card. All right. I actually like Time Stream Navigator. Um, so now the question is Reaver Ambush versus Moment of Craving. This exiles, but I almost like Moment more because you gain life too, and it's a combat trick. It's cheaper. You could argue it deals with less things, but it actually just deals with like different things in a different way at a cheaper cost. I almost like it more than Reaver Ambush. Best card in the pack. I don't know, I think it's one of these two. Time Stream Navigator's fun, but it's okay too, actually. I was it's it's better than I initially thought. I think we'll just take the moment though. I'm gonna have a moment here and take it. Oh. Alright, do I even need to say this card anymore? You guys know how much I love this card. I am madly in love with Golden Demise, so we're going to take it. Otherwise, Sanguine Glorifier, Moment of Triumph in here for the Vampire deck. And not a whole lot of other impressive cards. I think this card's actually decent. Okay. Seems like a fine time to pick up our first Conquistador. I like it, probably like it as a better plan than the Voracious Vampire. You can just win on the back of a bunch of Conquistadors, so we'll probably take it. I mean, I guess we don't have to be vampires, but if we don't have to be vampires, why would I take a Voracious Vampire anyway? So we'll probably just get our first of many Legion Conquistadors. Okay. Famished Paladin, but I think it's... Good opportunity to pick up a Divine Verdict to get some removal. I like it. Let's see here. I guess we just cut the white card. Best card in the pack. Water Knot by quite a bit. Mm, maybe I actually just take that in case blue-black is where I'm supposed to be. Alright. I mean, that's a late Water Knot. Hmm. Pterodon is okay. Raptor Companion is okay. A lot of just okay stuff here. Guess we'll opt for the two drop beater. Mmm. Huh. Alright. Take the Sun Sentinel. Alright, getting the Glorifier back is good. Yeah, makes sense to me. Okay, tear it on. Got it. I'm going to set some stuff over here while we... Yeah, I'm getting another glorifier is good, actually. While we focus on the vampires, I'm going to take it over the moment of triumph. I, I like the glorifier, actually. I've been pretty impressed with this card. Ooh, 
Third to last pick, Voracious Vampire? Now that is a gift. Alright, someone can have the negate. We're not interested in blue. So, I would say we have a successful pack one. Oh, Galta? Jeez. I love playing Galta. It's such a good card. But And we have the Forerunner, too. Man. If only I could predict the future. Could have even gotten another Forerunner, too. Jeez. All right, here we probably take Reaver Ambush. There's a lot of cards we want. I want the Zealot. I want the Verdix. I want the Conquistador. I want the Squire's Devotion. But to me, I think we just take the Ambush, hope to wheel something good, which I think we will. Another one? No, here we're going to take the Poisoner. This card is better than removal in my mind since even though it's technically a pirate card, the fact that it has flash, death touch is pretty remarkable. There's also Luminous Bond and another ambush in here. This pack is good. We're taking the Poisoner though. It's a great card. So here I can just take Martyr of Dusk. I think Bonus Hunger is... I think it's okay. I don't love it. It's okay. I mean, it potentially is very good, but I think we just take the Martyr. We're going to need some Vampires for our Vampire deck. I love the Aspirant. Another Poisoner, though? What? <laughs> We're going to take another Poisoner. I mean, I love Vampires. We are a Vampire deck, but Poisoner is just very good. Very good card. Really can't argue with Death Touch. Okay. This pack is a bit of a mess. So I guess we'll take a second. Pterodon, though, don't really want to play it. Ooh, all right, got the Conquistador now, which I'm going to take over the Glorifier. Um, don't need any of this. I, mean, I could take the Sentry. I don't think that we're going on that plan, though. I'm just going to cut the black card from here. So we need about 11 cards to make our deck really come together and shine. Ooh, here I think we take the Conquistador. Kind of gifted back to us. I love Divine Verdict too. But I gotta, I gotta go deep on Conquistador. It's just, it's an actual plan. Hmm. I guess of any, well, no, I think it makes sense to cut the black. Continue to cut black from these packs. All right, I mean, I could play a Scoundrel to one drop. It's also a pirate, I guess, for double poisoner. Ooh, another glorifier, okay. Yeah, cut the black, cut the black card. Keep cutting it. All right, uh, probably, probably don't play the Scoundrel. I mean, the only reason I'm playing the Poisoner is because Death Touch is so awesome, especially Flath. Flash Death Touch. Just kill whatever you want. Um, so, we're on the right track here. We only need nine cards. We can get there. It would be nice to get a Vampire Rare, but we'll see what we get. Alright, Sky Marcher is pretty excellent. Yeah, that's the pick for us. Alright. Thematic Compass is... Okay, it's not what we want to do here, though. So, Sky Marcher it is. So now we've got some options. We can take... We're going to take a Vampire, so it's either Skyblade, Paladin, Mark. So Skyblade flies, but we don't really have a... Well, we have the Glorifiers, I guess. Hmm. Mark can win games. I almost want to take the Paladin. I, I just like getting the multi-bodies. I've been impressed with this card recently, more so than early on. And then what? We hope to wheel a Skyblade. We need three more creatures, which means I could take the Mark. 
Mark is quite good. We don't have great bodies for it, I guess. Sky Marcher, but it already has lifelink. Hmm. This is tough. I think I'm just going to go Paladin and hope to wheel something of relevance here. Like I said, I've been impressed with Paladin recently. Getting the two bodies, one having three power, one having lifelink, it's just nice. Hostage taker, jeez, I want to splash for you. Can I? <laughs> How do I splash for you? Uh, I don't know. I don't have the means to really do that. Could take a fourth conquistador, but here we may want the contract killing. I might just take hostage taker and hope to splash it. It's really good. Our deck is kind of in need of an over-the-top thing. We're going to take the taker. I love this card, too. It's just so strong. I just take your thing and then kill you with it. Um, okay, so we have a bishop, which is another kind of thing we probably want. We have 11 vampires already. There's a pious interdiction here, too. Our removal is currently moment, golden demise, divine verdict. I may need some more removal, actually, as much as I love paladin. Because we're getting there on creatures, so I think we're going to take the interdiction. Getting a little four drop heavy, but that's okay. So we can take Skyblade now. Help to lower the curve, get another flyer. There's a hammer skull, which is very good, but oh, never mind. I guess we gotta take the deacon. This is kind of exactly what we're looking for. Hmm. I guess we don't need any of these. Take the two drop. Uh, I guess we'll take the interloper. We're not playing either. Slash of Talons is okay, but we gotta take another Sky Marcher here. It's an excellent card for us. Another Deacon. I will. Man, I want the Unknown Shores for this Hostage Taker, but I can't pass a Deacon. Whatever. Uh, encampment Keeper. Well, we got the Conquistador back, so that's pretty sweet. I'm willing to play 17 lands in a deck that has four Legion Conquistadors. I think that's perfectly fine and helps us still potentially play this Hostage Taker. Throw in a couple islands. We're not really color intensive, too. It is a possibility. Ah, oh, got the paladin. All right, the bishop back, too. Mm. Maybe we just... Uh, we can just... I, I was hoping to get something to play this. Oh, wow. Well, it seems like we just don't need it. All right, probably take the skyblade with double deacon. Makes sense to me. All right. Whatever, I'll take it now. So... I didn't even lose anything by taking Hostage Taker, that's the funny thing. I took Hostage Taker over a Conquistador, so we got it back. This deck turned out great. We're just solid looking vampire build. I'm not even, t yeah, our removal is even fine. Can deal with anything. We've got late game value, we've got evasion, we have draw card value. I like this deck a lot. Yeah, not much to say. Pretty standard issue vampire dot deck with some goodies. Probably do 8-8, eight, eight. I agree. And there you have it, folks. Vampires. All right. I guess we're a little removal light, but remember, these are removals too. So, okay. Yeah, I like it a lot. Black-white vampires. We'll see you around one.